A little. <laughs> At least someone's not launching a spaceship while I'm tromping around on a lesser AI and I get peace fast to death. I still remember that Boudicca game. Man, that sucked. <laughs> that sucked so bad. I will take my revenge on Immortal Terra. I don't care how big the AI is. Well, I do. I mean, eventually it becomes impossible, but not unpossible, yes. Not this time, though. See, look at that. I haven't been producing rifles at all, and I still have plenty of rifles I need to produce more rifles. Especially since cannons are going to be doing pretty much all of the heavy lifting when it comes to taking enemy cities now. Like, cannons with City Raider are going to be my go-to unit until artillery. Yeah, in which case, obviously, I'll be using artillery. <laughs> Ooh, I can draft here now. And, uh, already... I don't know, I think already is cheap in a sense, because... Aside from nukes and very, very, very late game unit, the gunship, there you can't flank. Um, you can't flank Artie. I and mean, I guess you can bomb it, but uh, they can just build Sams on that. So what happens is, no matter what, as long as there's a huge stack of Artie against the computer, it can't handle it. You'll die. You'll die so badly. Come on, Lincoln, speed up your tech. Watch him make this a colony or something stupid. He can't because he's my vassal. Thank God. Just go state property. <laughs> Solves the oh, I forgot to declare. Well, I got an extra turn. <laughs> an extra turn of draft trolling. Okay. Still doesn't have... Assembly line. Um, he can get fishing. But he's not really on rocketry yet, either. So he's not gonna get nukes before this war decided one way or another. Decided it shall be. <laughs> right now. Look at this. I have a larger forward stack than he has. Not a kind map. It's one of those maps you're happy just to win. And I think I'm I think I will win now. This is like after capping Lincoln and getting my rifles back here, I can honestly say for the first time, I feel like I can win this game now. Like I like I feel like I'm going to win this game. Not like I can, but I feel like I I feel like I'm going to. And I'm not unsure any longer. Oh hey, corporation. Well, I don't have a great lighthouse, so I'm not going to obsolete that. It's just, uh... There we go. Corporation. Now, a little bit better income. An ingenious device for obtaining individual profit without individual responsibility. <sighs> so much of war. <laughs> and he did it. He entered my borders. Ill-advised. <laughs> very, very ill-advised. Oh, he has metal navy? Oh, of course he does, because he can research flight. Cavalry, cannons. It's not going to matter one bit. Oh, I could be building airships, I guess. Maybe I want to throw down a few. Especially well promoted, they can be a little bit fun. And I can lead off against, like, when, when there's a city that doesn't have a lot of defenders in it, I can lead off with the airships and do a little bit of damage, and my cannons will look a little better then. So I'll go that route. Yeah, no surprise there. Lincoln lost San Fran. And you too. I'll, I'll go with eight airships. If the enemy puts up fighters, I'm screwed. They won't really do much, but otherwise they'll actually be useful. You throw it on like 10% damage. Where is that happening?
Wait, where'd your stack go? Well, I knew his destroyer was going to own me. He attacked me with his cavalry and then peeled back. Oh, he's hiding in here. Oh, don't go for Lincoln. Come on now. Well, unexpectedly, I'm going to use this for recon. <laughs> I want to make sure he doesn't go for Lincoln. Because Lincoln might break free from me if he's getting hosed too hard. Although, I suppose any distraction is welcome. Is this, uh, yeah, it's enough Chinese to draft. How about that? These cities are making themselves increasingly useful. I was hoping for it, but I wasn't sure it would come to be. <sighs> Ragnar and Julius Caesar could both, uh, Feed me some technology too, potentially. Well, no, because they're too far ahead. Well, Julius Caesar's too far ahead, but I can pull all democracy off of um, Ragnar instead of Lincoln and grab other things. <laughs> Instant owned. Well, that city was kind of crummy, though. Come on, back in my borders, JC. Stop that. Commit. <laughs> <laughs> Commit so I can completely destroy your, all of your forces. <laughs> and don't go for my vassal. Does Joao have open orders with Ragnar? Do I need to be worried about Ragnar in the slightest? I don't think he does. No. And even so, I have Mehmed down here. He's probably not going to do a whole lot, but... Still, he's there. Okay, here it is. Big battle time. 16 cannons, 13 cavalry, 33 rifles, and a whole bunch of cavalry. I cannot let this lead off on me. I have to attack it or it will kill me. It will not be a fun ending. However, on my side, I have protective draft rifles, and I have a lot of them. Fear them. Yeah, I already have good odds. I'm gonna conserve these guys because City Raider 3 is amazing. What? <laughs> Does everyone have the. Okay, there we go. There's my uh, less awesome cannons. Still good though. I mean, five experienced cannons. <laughs> they can hurt. Now, can I actually select my units without selecting all of my units with Shift Click? I'm single clicking. One click, not holding anything down. Nope. Yeah, when I was playing a game as Sid on the forums, I named myself Bad User Interface King because that's basically it. This game is great until you get to the controls, and then the game's controls are rather disgraceful. Like, I don't know how you could say that this was anywhere near good enough in terms of game controls. Oh, I accidentally got someone with <laughs> level 3 in the garage. Man, there's just a lot of stuff in that stack. This is not easy. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm not taking a lot of war weariness here because it's in my territory, but I'm going to lose a lot of my cannons, which just blows. But could you imagine if this stuff were infantry instead? That's why I didn't want to deal with it, because this is rather tough, this stack. He's been building this up all game. Good, the top units are damaged now. That should be good enough. I don't want to take further damage here. Well, here. This won't be very meaningful, but uh, why not? <laughs> take 8% damage. <laughs> lol, lol, lol. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> How's your war weariness there, JC? <laughs> you feeling alright now? 
Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll stack up a military academy in here. I would not surprise me to get multiple. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is the world power looking like now? I bet I'm second. Yep. <laughs> and it's not because I got a lot stronger. <laughs> I mean, short of just dropping two tack nukes on that, that's pretty devastating. <laughs> Cannons don't mess around. And once again, Protective shining a little bit in a tough game. So I was able to take Pinch even on my draft guys. And that mattered, because he had a lot of rifles in that stack. Although I probably should switch someone over to uh, producing rifles now. I think you're a good candidate because you have the production boosts. Yeah, nothing else really. Okay. Rifles it is. Oh man, even with biology I can't quite draft every turn here. It's pretty close though. So. Oh, I can't see the draft anger. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Plus three anger for 448 turns. Yes! <laughs> you know you've done well with your city in that case. And I have a super medic here, so like, in two turns, all these rifles in this city? Yeah, they'll be full health. <sighs> the tears, viewers. The tears are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so much carnage. I bet he's willing to talk already. No, he's not. Well, he is one of the least willing AIs in that capacity. He actually had more troops. That's... that's rather crazy. Well, rifles are low value, and that's some damaged stuff out there, so there's no reason to let it live. Where are you going? And here's where we just act like gnats, too, and we just spam. We'll weaken his stuff a little bit. Yep, two turns to heal. And there's the machine gun. But we have City Raider 3. It's all good. And I'm not going to have any seafood. I kind of knew that, but it's unfortunate. I only had a couple sources, though. Yeah, I only have three seafood anyway. What are you griping about? Oh, not selecting all cities by just clicking on one city. That's not the way to be. Someone needs to finish their research. I, mean, I know it's slower when you're at war, but come on now. Get me to Artie. Completely ruin this game, Ned. <laughs> Joao completes Manhattan Project. Aw, oh, crap. And now he gets infantry. Oh, yeah, he had, uh... He had Grenadiers. But that infantry was a moment too late, because he uh, lost his stack that he could have upgraded on the cheap. Really? A lot of stuff to expose. There we go. Yeah, I would not recommend, like, tanking airships for the specific purpose of using airships, but if you have the cap capability of building them, go ahead, because they will help you. Wear them down a little bit. You can easily flip strength. I mean, it's like getting combat 1 or combat 2 advantage on them. And if you already have that, it's like getting it a second time. You can change outcomes of battles rather easily. I'm surprised I won that one. Oh, come on now. There needs to be a limit to this crap. 
Tai. All right. Let's let these guys who are damaged heal up. And uh, everyone else? I guess that's good enough. Oh, but I have a lot of cannons on that tile that I don't want to get flanked. So we'll bring along some rifles. Because cavalry can flank cannons. They can't flank arty. And believe me, that matters a lot. Alright, that should be good enough. I'd be surprised if you can flank anything in the forest without losing basically all this cavalry. Manhattan Project, huh? That's troublesome. <laughs> it's very troublesome. He doesn't have rocketry yet, so he can't build nukes yet. Um... Does Joao have open borders with him? No, he doesn't, so I am safe here. No nukes yet. Where are my other airships? Still to be built? Yeah, why? Why are you guys griping so much? <laughs> oh, even Emancipation. Jeez, game. <laughs> Cut me some slack. It's alright. I don't need to tech myself anyway. Let's just run the slider up. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, next turn I'll have a large stack here and I'll be able to hit this with airships as well. Airships and fighters are better against lower numbers of units while bombers tend to be a little bit better against groups because of its collateral. Oh well. Manhattan Project, come on now. All of the stuff I have, and all this work to build up all these cannons, and all this drafting of rifles, go up in smoke instantly. If I uh, get nuked. <laughs> I can't let them nuke me. That's GG! <laughs> Because not even the AI can recover from a thorough nuking. But it's pretty hard for a human to recover, even from fairly shoddy nuking. And let me tell you, for those of you who haven't experienced it, it's not a fun experience to have your uh, capital get nuked, along with like two of your other cities by ICBMs, and have the AI nuke your uh, stack. You can't just rebuild a stack like the AI, so like, that tends to hose you pretty good. Julius Caesar, though, fortunately, not pushing the nukes as much. Come on, someone go UN and ban them. Of course, no one is. Now, that would be an amusing way to win, get everyone but Joao as vassals. <laughs> You've won a diplomatic victory. I might. This game has been hell. <laughs> if Joao starts producing nukes, I'm going to say screw this noise and just win. <laughs> It's going to be quite difficult unless uh, Ragnar caps or dies though because Julius Caesar with a vassal is not likely to capitulate to anything. This is going to be a long war. <laughs> Congratulations Montezuma, you won the AP again. Three! Ah, ah, ah. Now, the machine guns, they can intercept your airships, but he only has like one, so he'll get an intercept maybe. And if he does, oh well. There we go. Look at that. Instead of having to attack an 18 strength unit, I am attacking oh, two 18 strength units that are immune to collateral damage. I only have to attack them at 14.4 strength. That's uh, not insignificant. And yeah, I actually have winning odds on first attack here. While behind in there. <laughs> And of course, that means he's going to get slaughtered because I have a lot of units. And here I'll take drill because the, the even red lines infantry are going to do anything. 
Yeah. So where this came from, Caesar? Yes, there it is. And four should be good because I don't see a big counterattack stack. I guess I killed it already. But who cares, right? That's good. That's a good thing. Actually, I can uh, pull rifles from home. What? Really? Okay. Do it. <laughs> Slaughter his vassal. I'm pleasantly surprised. Good job, Monty. <laughs> Full health next turn. And I can uh, hide the rails to his next city, too. It's nice to have a friend in Joao. He's being useful. Oh, I neglected the draft. Well, now I'm going to be able to draft consecutively for quite some time. You go here. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that will help me a lot actually, because I get the nationhood bonus still. Empire is just pretty. <laughs> so few infrastructure, just building units all game long. You know, just that's the way to win. Just, just build units. <laughs> yeah, he's willing to talk now. He realizes things just went very sour very quickly. I don't think I want to stack split against him. Not yet, because he does have superior technology to me. And it's always a little dicey stack splitting against superior technology. However, I don't consider him much of a threat otherwise. So I'm going to push into his territory with impunity now. I'm not gonna shy. Can my airships reach? Ah, oh, crap. I thought it was quick contribute. Yeah, they can reach there. Good. So I don't have to rebase them just yet. And you're not healing anyone else, so go help. <sighs> really? This isn't rocket science. Just skip turn. Thank you. Ooh, an engineer. I'm not founding any corporations. I have in state property for the rest of the game, unless UN forces otherwise, and it's not going to, because I am going to be controlling the UN. So we get everything that's built. Oh, he's willing to give me San Fran back. Ooh. Montezuma is going to get railroad. Do I have anything to trade him? I have a lot of things I can trade him. Good. Even better that Lincoln doesn't have it. <laughs> so I can trade him for stuff too. Yep, Roman infantry attacks my rifle. The problem is though, there's no flanking. So you can't, uh, like infantry don't flank. So yeah, he'll kill some rifles and then... He'll just get absolutely annihilated in the cities. Because of the City Raider 3 cannons. Derp. <laughs> and he trades one infantry for one cannon. Nice. Or for one rifle. He does not have anything there that can intercept airships, so I'm just going to be a troll and hit him with them. Awesome. It's not huge, but it's significant. 
Yeah, I like where this is going. <laughs> this is looking nice now. Ragnar's gonna get eliminated by my vassals. That is such a nice thing. It's nice to see myself atop the scoreboard, too. First time all game. Well, no, I was briefly ahead of Caesar earlier, too. I just need to keep Joao off the nukes, and we're good. We can win militarily, even after all this grief. Boom. Yeah, f like eight airships suddenly starting to uh, cause a little bit of problems. Ooh, he's a lot of cannons in this city. Yeah, fortunately, he doesn't have Artie yet either. Artie is also, like, it's not, it doesn't end cannons, but it's pretty inconvenient to cannons. Oh. Steady dose of ownage. I think I'll let myself accrue a few more rifles through the draft and then move on. I'm just going to production automate these. I might micromanage them later, but not yet. It's too much effort right now. They'll like start prompting me for stuff, and I don't want to set up a, a queue of things. I oh, know I think I have a queue set up for uh, mil for war. I think that's hot key number five. Let me check. Yeah. Okay. Except for I don't need a courthouse because I'm running state property. So there we go. Never mind. I'll set up the queue. <laughs> Any captured cities? I, although I might just give them back, but you know, by the time, uh, one way or another, I'll be able to either keep them and use them that way, or I can just give them back. But they won't be prompting me constantly, so that's that's good enough. <laughs> he's trying to get rid of some. He's swapping improvements. Normally, the AI doesn't do that as much as the automated workers tend to do that. Still a pretty good set of uh, troops here. I think we really uh, crossed the threshold of difficulty. Caesar is screwed. And those airships with nice reach. Yeah, this is game! So happy! I actually am going to win this map. After playing the first session before I went and played my uh, Madden franchise game, I took a peek at some of the people's comments about this in the early goings, because <laughs> I was like, geez, I, I bet some people are going to struggle. And some people have been struggling a little, yes, and are not amused by the start. The heck? Is he watermilling? Wow, I'm actually catching up here in population, which is interesting. But still, anyone but uh, Mehmed and Shaka can break free. I actually do have Mehmed under. That's interesting. It's alright. When I gift stuff back to JC, it'll be uh, all undone. If I gift stuff back to JC. I think I will, though, because it'll make it easier to deal with slash cap um, Joao. Unless Joao goes UN for me. And then in that case, I'll just hang on to the cities. Everyone will vote for me and I'll win. Simple as that. Well, he's re he can research mass media. Yeah, okay. Select all damaged. And I'll dump him. Yeah, this stack is large enough. It can press room. Especially since I just mauled a lot of their cannons. 
Recon! Yay! Hit stuff. They get annoying to attack. Because now they can't even attack my cannons effectively with the grenadiers. Need infantry. Hmm. You know what? I can take this. Let's go. Now I can stack split. I probably could have a little bit sooner. It's, it pays to be cautious though. Like this game, I have it in the bag as long as one of two things don't happen. As long as I don't do something stupid where Joao can win based on space, which he's still a good distance away from, or culture. Or, you know, I don't lose my forces against Caesar. If I threw away my army against Caesar, I would have lost instantly. But that was true for him, too. <laughs> and uh, he, he's the one that threw away his forces. I think I want to attack Rome from the southwest corner, because then I can just peel back on this city immediately after. Really start digging into his core. I'm liking this. Get some rifle cannon action going on against infantry. Actually not take heavy losses. Really shows the power of getting rifling in this game. Lincoln screwed that one up badly. <sighs> hey, Montezuma's sending some forces. Cool. It's always nice to see vassals do something useful. Although Mehmed's the real contributor, I think. Hopefully. And I got him rifle cannon, so even though he's still behind otherwise, yeah, the rifle cannon should help out. And Monty is just awesome. Awesome once he's capitulated. No, I don't want you researching constitution. Oh, there goes another one. Takes back Ankara. Nice. <laughs> oh no, tanks. No. Why? Why again? Why must you do this to me? <laughs> so how much do you viewers think it'll matter? <laughs> it'll matter a little. I'll lose more than I would have if he didn't get tanks. But... I can still beat him. It doesn't matter. Is he entered my borders a little bit too soon? Oh, by the way. <laughs> Sit down, tank. I do want to be careful even more so than before about what I leave on my uh, back lines too, though. I think he'll sit tight, especially if I damage him. No, I don't want to. I will take this guy, just in case, though. There, there we go. Now, now I don't have to worry about uh, losing my great general, just my airships. City garrison? Yes. Make it a little bit harder. <clears throat> he doesn't have a perfect rail network, but he can hit me in one turn. Which is unfortunate. Tanks. Not making a lot of headway against America. I mean, he took the junk city and is pretty much stagnated on that front as well. And I seem to have lost sound. Oh, Marines too? <laughs> Come on. Come on now. Care to negotiate? You have sugar, just let me have it. Thank you. Do you have anything else I can make use of? I'll get my seafood back eventually. Okay, I really want to make sure I don't hit with my City Raider 3 stuff because this city is going to be a little bit of a tough nut to crack. It is his capital, and he has thrown a lot of forces in it. 
So we'll just use these guys down here. And as you can see, I mean, we're fighting industrial era stuff. Maybe even a little bit of modern era stuff with, uh, with rifles and cannons. And like I said, cannons stay good. Where are my other airships? Oh, they're here. There we go. There we go. Roughed up the tanks a little bit. Did I rough up the marines? No, just the tanks. Yeah, this one's gonna hurt a little, I'm afraid. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I continue to be pleasantly surprised by this campaign. <laughs> what tanks? <laughs> I'll be like uh, those trolls in Modern Warfare 2 and run around with my models. <laughs> dun dun! <laughs> you be dead. And we get the usual fast moving uh, super medic. Oh man, to walk into Rome in this game. How you feeling, Caesar? You happy? You mad? You mad. He's willing to give me stuff. Okay, and he's willing to give me better stuff. But I'm going to save it here. I lost sound at some point, so I'm going to address that. And I will see you guys in the next part. Give a like if you are enjoying this completely backwards beatdown. And I will see you guys next time. Main team signing off.